Hey, welcome back to another episode of 501 BBQ Camping Edition. You might hear some background noises around here, but we're fixing to do up some breakfast. We're camping at Woolly Hollow State Park. We got some kids running around. He's making sure the charcoal's getting good and fired up. So what we are doing today is the Mountain Man Breakfast. A lot of people have probably heard of that. If you get a Lodge Dutch oven, it's right here in the cookbook. We'll put the exact recipe to everything. The only thing we're doing different is adding some diced onions in. You can make it however you want. So let's get this going. So all you need to do this recipe straight from the book is two pounds of sausage, two cups of cheese, and this is two pounds of hash browns, eight eggs with a quarter cup of water in it. So we're gonna season it with some Townsend Bar X seasoning and just a good salt, pepper, garlic rub. So we've got the 12 quart Dutch oven. And so all we're gonna do is get it in our fire pit here. We got some charcoal about ready. We're gonna get our sausage cooked up then the hash browns, and then we're gonna turn this thing into an oven. So let's get this sausage going. We've got this chimney full of some Royal Oak charcoal. We started it with the Royal Oak tumbleweeds. And so all we're gonna do is just kind of pour us a bed of coals out here, and we're gonna get this sausage cooked up. So we'll set our Dutch oven on here. We'll go right to the sausage. I think everybody has probably cooked some sausage, so we'll spare you all that. We'll come back to you whenever this is done. But just get that in there and get that cooked up, and then we'll come back to you after that. Okay, we got our sausage done. We did add a few onions in here, just kind of diced up a little bit. So all we're gonna do is take the sausage out. We're gonna put it in this pan. We just kind of lined it with some paper towel to kind of soak up a little bit of the grease. And we are gonna leave the grease in here to cook the hash browns in. So as soon as we get all this out, we will add those hash browns. The next step is we're gonna add our two pounds of hash browns, and these were just refrigerated. They weren't in the frozen section, so we like doing the ones that are just refrigerated a little better. So we're gonna add these straight in our Dutch oven. Get a little sizzle going on. So once these are done, these will not come out. So that's when we'll add everything back in. Basically, we're just warming these up, getting a little crispness on them. So we're gonna take our Bar X by Townsend Spice and Supply, and we're gonna add a little bit of this to the hash browns. Get some good flavors going on in here. All right, we'll come back to y'all whenever it's time to combine everything and turn this thing into an oven. All right, it's time to combine everything. So we've got our hash browns still in here. We've got about 10 briquettes right back here that we are gonna set the Dutch oven on. So this recipe calls for about eight pieces. These have kind of burned down a little bit, so we're gonna go 10. So all we're gonna do is take our sausage that we cooked up a while ago, and we're just gonna put that back in on top of the hash browns. See if I can do it without making a big mess. There we go. So we're just gonna kind of spread that out. And then we're gonna take our eight eggs and a quarter cup of water. And we're just gonna pour, try to just do it evenly across everything. And then we've got two cups of mild cheddar cheese, and we're just gonna give that a sprinkle over the top. Kind of spread that out. So now the last thing we gotta do is get our lid. 
we're going to put that on and we're going to put about 16 pieces of coals on the lid so we'll get that going so basically on the dutch oven you're wanting to push that heat down into it so that's why there's more on the top than there is on the bottom so we're gonna get our coals just evenly placed on here and we will start rotating this where there's no hot spots we're about too shy here all right so that's going to set like that for about 10 minutes and then we'll rotate this around so we'll come back to y'all whenever time for that all right that's been going for 10 minutes so all we're going to do is take the whole dutch oven we're going to rotate it about a quarter turn to the left and then we're going to take our lid and do a quarter turn to the right that way if there's any hot spots everything is going to cook evenly now so we will come back to y'all whenever it's time to check this it's been right at 25 minutes so this should be done we will take a peek set our lid down so we will just check and make sure the egg is done so it is good to go so we're just going to take this off the heat and that's how you do it serve it up feeds a lot of people appreciate y'all watching